they gon' know that the team. What? Thirty five hundred for D. What? What? Chad, please. All right, man. I'm trying to see if my boy Emory Jones, if we had played LSU that night, and, and Kyle Pitts, if Kyle Pitts would have played that night, when we lost that horrible game to LSU, man, would it have made a difference? What, what if we would have changed quarterbacks? You know what I'm saying? What if we would have played Kyle Pitts? Would we have beat LSU? Let's play and find out. Let's go, Joker. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss this team, man, for sure, for sure. I don't know what, what you know. What I'm I don't know what direction we really finna go in, bro. But it was trending up, man. It was trending up, looking like the way we would have ended this year off, bro. We would have got some recruits coming and everything, bro. But I feel like maybe we messed that up, man. We messed that up, losing that game to LSU. You know what I'm saying? Even though we got an LSU transfer, bro, it just. Still, bro, we, we never really, we never got to show our full potential, bro. I feel like when we play Alabama, we tried. We tried to show our full potential, bro, but it didn't work out how we really wanted to because we lost at the end of the night. <laughs> and then our defense couldn't get a stop. And the stop that we did get the defense, like the stop we did get, Trey Dean got his ass cracked, bro, <laughs> by a wide receiver. I mean, ain't nothing that got, that don't got nothing to do with anything, bro, but he, you feel me? He got the pick that we needed, but then got cracked by the wide receiver. So that just let you know how the season went. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we lost this game against LSU right here to a shoe, which is crazy. So, man, like, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man. If y'all go back and watch <laughs> just highlights, man, of people going against Florida defense, you'll see Marco Wilson getting picked on every, every Saturday, bro. Every Saturday. And what don't make it no better is he was the reason why our season ended the way it did. That's what make it worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no telling how good we could have been with the, with this just this just group. You know what I'm saying? This group of Florida Gators right here, bro. You know, I wish I could live stream and just talk about it. The season. And the upcoming season that's coming, you know what I'm saying, bro? But it's tough, bro. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? I really don't even want to play no defense with our um, our, our regular defense. I'd rather have a super sim make us look a little better, bro. But crazy thing about it to me, they go Eric Gilbert who come into Florida, bro. But I just feel like the thing to me, bro, is that man... I feel like our, our coordinator, bro, he didn't even try, like, I don't know what happened right there. But I feel like our, our defensive coordinator didn't even try to, to dial up the right packages, bro, with, with the personnel. Like, I feel like he had the wrong personnel on, on like, the field half of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a Florida Gator, bro, you'll, you'll peep it. Like, why are we playing zone on the third and... You feel me? Like a third and... Like I, sometimes, I, sometimes I just didn't understand, bro. Why would we would run zone and then we don't run man? Like when we played Texas A&M, we got torched because it was our first time trying to really play zone the whole game, even if shit was bad. Like if you peep it, that's what they were trying to do, bro. And that's just, that's just not the way it go. Like, especially when you got a group of jits out there, man. They haven't, they haven't even really been all out there at the same time. Like, Corona had messed everything up with chemistry and everything. So, you had to really pick up group during the game, bro. And our defense really just ain't do that. I mean, I'll say our secondary just didn't do that. I feel like our line and our middle linebackers started contributing like crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to miss that boy uh, Miller, bro. If he don't come back, like, run it, bro. That man is an animal, bro, on that field, bro. I feel like Kyer Elam, he showed, he, he was just way too soft. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, and, and, and you know, this all tough love because I'm a Florida Gator fan, you feel me? Like, I just want my, I just want to see my boys improve. I ain't here to hate on my boys. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see my dogs improve. Like, we, you know, like, bro, we've been going through some tough times, bro, as a Florida Gator fan. You feel me? Like, we, we done had times. Well, we was 
literally like looking like we was finna go trending up like best team in the nation like when we had will greer one year right before we was about to play lsu this man got suspended and left us with treon harris who was ass and they tried to compare them to like they was good like man it wasn't even close will greer was definitely that dude and look how look how his career turned out I think he's even in the nfl right now so it's looking like like we had Jeff Driscoll at one point, you know, he had to transfer, but it was almost like nobody was building the right people around him. Like, like we would have recruits though, like all wide outs would never be bad. Like, I remember a time when we had Cleveland and them boys, like Tyree Cleveland, like Freddie Swain and all of them. You know what I'm saying? When they was here, it was different, bro. It was different. Like, I feel like. Am I tripping or is Freddie Swain on a fit? Nah, is that? I don't remember, man. Let me make, no, that's Trayvon Grimes, I'm tripping. But Freddie Swain, you know what I'm saying? Brandon Robinson, who just played in the Super Bowl when we had them type of players. We was looking like we were dominant. Even this year, man, with Kyle Trash and Kadarius Tony, like the connection between Kadarius Tony, Kyle Trash, and... Kyle Pitts, bruh, that, that connection was deadly, even J jumping Jacob Coop, bruh, like, man, this year was just really, to me, I feel like it could have been way incredible, bruh, like, it was just way too, it just went, it just turned out way too bad, bruh, like, we had the talent all around, bruh. Our defense, like this, if y'all, if y'all a Florida Gator fan, y'all understand, bro. This is the first year we ever played, right? And our defense was bad every single year. Our defense carry us, bro. I don't care what you think, bro. Our defense carries us, bro. Like that's everybody, though, bro. Our defense, man. If like you couldn't bring up Florida in no equation to win a game, bro. But our defense. As the game would progress, you'd be like, bro, we got a chance to win this game. And it was only because of our defense. But this year, man, putting your faith in the defense, boy, it was almost like you might as well flip heads or tails, bro. Because it wasn't no for sure thing, bro. It really wasn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like you, we can guarantee a turnover either. Like, I remember, bro, last, if, imagine if the Florida Gators had the defense that they had last year with the team that like with the offensive power that we had this year bruh <laughs> oh my god i'm talking about like with jonathan grenard and them <laughs> man <laughs> man look we i feel like we had a better season last year even when we just we just lost to that dude bro when we lost to that motherfucking guy bro joe burrow like i ain't even gonna hold you like I, I would have loved the fact that, like, losing the season that we did last year over the season that we just lost just now, like, bruh, first of all, the thing about it is, we did, we were supposed to play LSU earlier in the year, bro, when they was really looking bad, right, really looking bad, so they, and, and what make it even worse is they just come off a loss against Alabama, who didn't, they did not, um, rest none of their players, bro. They play every single body, and when it was time to rest them, they rested them, right? And they and they got they respected that they deserve. Like, it was no way that you didn't think Alabama wasn't gonna win that game, bro. From the jump, it, even LSU was even trying to put up a fight. They played, and to me, I feel like they did everything they could, bro, but they just didn't have the firepower like they did last year, right? Like. They didn't have their whiteouts that they had last Man, like, I feel like all white... I, I ain't comparing our whiteouts, hell no. Nah. But I feel like... I feel like the whiteouts that we had were, like... I'm not even gonna say similar either. I just, I, I just want to talk about the depth. Like, the depth of Florida wide receivers this year. We, we could have competed with LSU. Like, think about it. Clemson, Clemson didn't have the depth to beat LSU last year in that championship game. They didn't. Like, the, the only wide receivers they had really, truly, who could we say? They only, they only top dog, bro. Like, ah, oh, fuck. 
Dang, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and remember who Clemson Whitehouse was, bro. Like, I really can't even. Oh, um, T.Y. Higgins. Um, who else they had? Um, oh, number three. I cannot remember his name, bro. He fought up. Like, but they didn't have the depth, bro. Like, we had depth. Like, we, we had enough players. That were good that you could but we could we could play first and second string bro the whole game and and that's the problem you feel me? like we don't we're not supposed to do that and that's what Dan Mullen tried to do against LSU like he tried to hang his nuts on them like bro like y'all y'all did us last year because y'all had Joe Burrow this year that shit dead we got the death we got we can play first and second string bro I don't even have to play coppers if I want to to beat them come on y'all like and that's how he treated that game bro when it was the last game of the season for us it was really the last game of the season for us like the same way Texas A&M they last game of the season was against um who they play Tennessee the last game of the season this year they played Tennessee right and Tennessee was giving them a fight but Auburn played Texas a and them better than they when we played them like you feel me like we played them perfect our offense perfect we fumbled when it was the worst worst of the time six minutes I think left on the clock bro and think of like I told y'all our defense was terrible so literally all they did was keep converting first downs keep chewing the clock and that's how they beat us bro they they, they just took advantage but they took advantage of us all the whole game though like we would score they scoring we was up 11 at halftime. Coach, was, coach wasn't even tripping because all he's saying is, like, shit, they defense trash. Shit, all we got to do is get a couple stops to stop their offense, which is hard to do, but we can really do it. We, my, he like, my defense can do it. They defense can't stop us. You feel me? Like, and I feel like that's how, like, all the, all the SEC opponents, like, pursued us, like, they could have beat us on any given Saturday. Like, we could have been beat on any given Saturday, bro, just because of the fact our defense was not like that, bro. And to be honest, I was so surprised. If, like, because I barely watched the Alabama. Like, I felt like I watched more Alabama. When we played Florida, I feel like we played. Like I said, when we played Florida. When we played Alabama, I feel like I was watching more Alabama than Florida. Like, because we scored so fast, like it was almost like they was letting us score. But like we scored so fast every single time that when it was time for us to trust our defense, it wasn't gonna happen, bro. Like it really wasn't. And then it was. It looked like they were just practicing. They were just practicing to get ready for their they playoff game against Notre Dame, right? Trying to figure out how they how they gonna stop Ian Book. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know they're not finna lose to us, right? But they wanted to figure out how they can. Like, because if you wanted to try to give yourself a challenge, bro, you're going to play Florida, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this year's team, like, that's a, that, that was a challenge trying to stop that team. Whoa. But it was, trying, it was a challenge trying to stop us on offense, right? You stop us on offense, though. Let's be real. Let's, let's, let's rate the, the chances of our defense getting a stop out of 10 like let's let's say huh, like what's the chances of our defense getting a stop bro i mean honestly damn i wanted to go to Kadarius tony i should never put cop piss on that fly route though but but like i feel like it was this is five out of ten it was half and half like maybe we might we might like yeah, it wasn't no trust no trust in our defense this year bro i feel like all the other games that we had man like I'm talking about last year and them other years, bro. We could trust it. We could trust it, bro. Like I ain't see, I don't, I ain't even see us getting on picks like that this year. You know what I'm saying? That did we really even get any pick? I think Trey Dean got the first pick of the year, bro. Like let's get real. Like oh, um, I think we got picks. What the first game against Ole Miss? Like that's what we're supposed to do, right? And then we played against a Matt Corral, a quarterback who was once committed to Florida, and he decommitted, right? Cause of uh, Emory Jones, and he showed out. He showed out this year, and I feel like it's just gonna be that year where we gotta prove ourselves again. Like I feel like my boy Emory Jones gotta prove himself this year, only because of what Kyle Trash did. Like 
it was no way that you wasn't going to play Kyle Trash, but like, I'm going to be real, bro. Like, I call him Kyle Trash because yeah, I'm a Florida Gator fan. I can do that. But but I feel like it was no way. It was no way he was really messing with that man as a quarterback this year, bro. Like, he was putting up numbers. You feel me? He played with a line that wasn't even that good. Like, if we'd have had more balance with the running game, man, we would have been elite, superior on offense. But because we didn't have that running game, I feel like it took it took our superior. It took our superior sense away. Like, like we couldn't run no ball. Like, if we really needed five to three yards, you know what I'm saying? Say if it was a fourth and five. Do y'all think we could get it running the ball? I feel like Alabama could do, could do it on fourth and ten, like, honestly. Like, I feel like they honestly could have got it on fourth and ten, like, running the ball with, bruh. I forgot his name. Damn, how do I do that? And that's Eric Gill. But, um, what's his name, man? From Alabama this year, bro, the running back. He was like that, too. Um, but shout out to him, bro. I ain't going uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. Najee Harris, I'm tripping. But yeah, he was most definitely like that. Why? He was most definitely like that this year. Uh, who, who, like, Alabama was just that team this year, you know what I'm saying? And I just knew that game, it was going to piss me off. And that's why I really wanted to watch it. And to see how it ended, I was more satisfied losing that way than uh, seeing us get our ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm glad them boys showed up to Atlanta to play. But to not get that dub, bro, it just defeats the purpose of playing a good game against Alabama. That's how I feel. Like, that's the reason why I respect Auburn out of anybody who can beat uh, Alabama, bro. Because if they play a good game, bro, they're going to win. It's like, no, it's no doubt about it, bro. Like, Let's be real, especially if it's in Auburn too. Like, but Alabama is not gonna beat them, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's like it's something about that game, bro. It be something about that game, bro. The Auburn, the um, Iron Bowl. It's 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 a, it's a reason why it's called the Iron Bowl in in the first place. I feel like it's iron sharpens iron. You know what I'm saying? It's one of them them dog matches, man. Them dog fights, right? I just, you know what I'm saying? And Florida, all we got to do is beat Georgia every year. That's all we got to do if we want to make it out. If we want to make it out, all we got to do is beat Georgia. Now, we got to beat Georgia and LSU because that's the only teams we lose to every year. <laughs> that's the only teams we lose to every single year, bro, if you want me to be honest. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping, like, on trying to beat Georgia, bro, but Georgia got some dogs, bro. Like, they the got... Georgia Bulldogs for a reason. Like, them boys got some dogs on that defense. And I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm scared to see that old bro. Um, what's his name? The um quarterback who was at USC? JT Daniels? And he went to Georgia. Bro, I'm, I'm glad he didn't play against um Florida like that. And, like, he was picking up some traction, bro. And the see... To see Georgia only lose two games, you know what I'm saying? It remind me of last year of us. Like Georgia had the defense, you know. Like if you if y'all really want to be honest, when Kyle Pitts went out of that Florida Georgia game, and we was up the way he was, nigga, I was still scared. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my line, but I was still scared because over the fact like our defense, we can't trust our defense, right? And, and, and like I don't know what it was it, it seemed like Kirby Smart didn't want to play JT Daniels for some reason and that was his fault like because honestly if he would have put Brian in the game if y'all was peeping and everything like them boys slick was could have had they still had a chance like they were slick coming back and it was worrying me because I'm like bro just time just need to keep you know what I'm saying chugging away bro because they getting way too you feel me they getting way too much momentum bro and I just felt like we would have lost that game if Georgia would have had a, a, a decent quarterback. Like, let's get let's get honest, bro. And the SEC, the future is getting way too bright, and that's why I feel like the window is closing for Florida. Like, and I'm a Florida get a fan, and I feel like the window only closed because look what LSU did, bro. LSU managed to go get a whole new coach, bro. A whole new coach. We went through three, four coaches before we got Dan Mullen, right? And it took so long to get. This is this was his third season, right? 
And so you got two quarterbacks. You could play two sides of the ball, wide receiver, you know, and a second string wide receiver crew. We got heli running backs, running backs that's transferring, like Naquan Wright, who I felt got the most run out of any other out of any other the running backs. Like he didn't get as much, but I'm talking to and I'm just talking about like performance, how he was how he was performing. It showed that he was one of the best running backs out of the crew. And that's why he leaving, bro. Like he he need that opportunity to go somewhere else. And we got way too many running backs. Way too many, like and even we even got some that's transferring. We we got transfer from um Clemson, bro. So I mean, like the future is looking bright in that position. But it, even our wide receiver position is looking bright. It's looking bright. Quarterback, we know we know we got something with Emory Jones. The whole country know we got something with Emory Jones. That's why all eyes is on him. Like, bro, I love Emory Jones. I ain't even meet meet this man before. I remember one time I hopped on his Instagram live, right, and he was actually like hitting me back, cause I got a friend who from the same city I, I grew up in high school. His name Rich LeCount. He played with Georgia, right, and I was talking about him to uh to Emory Jones, and he was telling me, man, that man ain't even from where you from. That man from Atlanta and stuff like that. Yeah, we're playing around, but you know what I'm saying? Like Emory Jones is that quarterback, like. He's a, he's our quarterback. Like he he's the one we like. He, to me, I feel like he he the dude we need. Like I feel like I ain't even gonna try to give him too much pressure, bro. But I just want to stay with positive as much with, bro. Like I feel like he could be bigger than Tim Tebow, honestly. Like and and that's just like speaking from like just watching, bro. Like. We haven't even got to see him throw the toss the cookie around that too much though, but to see him be behind Kyle Trash, who I feel like, look, the thing that set him apart was he he watches the field so much, like to where he used to be staring his receivers down. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's scary, bro, cause he's 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 so talented, bro. Whoa! No way! No way! <laughs> Bro, but anyways, bro, like I was saying, man, I feel like he watched the field so much that sometimes he was staring at his receivers, bro, giving them too much, you know, giving the defense too much of where he going with the cookie, and that's how he was getting some of his picks against LSU, like, I feel like he's he was way, bro, he's way too good to be doing that against LSU, bro, and I'm talking about the LSU that played this year, like, I don't even know how we lost that game, bro. It's so painful, bro, because it, we even had a chance with the field goal. And our best field goal kicker, who we, we knew we could rely on, bro. It was just, like, how it ended. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't blame him. You know what I'm You couldn't blame him because he missed a field goal. It was. It's just a matter of fact. Like, bro, through that shoe, bro, and we was going to be in position we was gonna be in a position to where we didn't have to stress, we didn't have to kick no field goal. But since we had to kick that field goal and it missed, like now we was looking so we was butt hurt, bro, because we it, we literally have no more time on the clock. Like that was our only hope, and we can't really put it on brother. Like like that's what field goal kickers are to do. Like doing the field is to kick that field goal so we can win and shit. But but you can't put all the pressure on him when. When really, all in all, honesty, the pressure was on the defense. You know what I'm saying? And our defense wouldn't come through, bro. Like, it is tough, bro. Like, even we didn't have Sean Davis play the whole year like that. And I love Sean Davis. Like, we never could get Sean Davis to touch the field, bro. Like, I feel like that was a killer. Like, bro, Sean Davis is like our Richard LeCount, bro. But he played for Florida. You feel what I'm saying? Like he was out, he was our hard hitter. He was the one you ain't gonna throw it to that side. Like he was every, like you know what I'm saying. He the one who gonna he gonna he gonna pick up no tackles that come through that um like it's a halfback dive. He gonna be the one who who catch them tackles. You know what I'm saying? Like he gonna be the one who get them tackles, bro. Like he's a dog to me. Like look at Marco Wilson. He can't even catch a catch a football in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to everybody on Florida though, bro. Like I love, I love all my Florida Gator fans, man. I love all my Florida Gators. You know what I'm saying? It's just tough love. 
you know, like, I want to see us be great, bro. Like, I, I feel like we, we, we are like Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are like them boys. Like, we, we on the other side of the conference. We just ain't have picked up that traction yet. Like, like we got the talent. And the thing about it is, we don't, we don't get the five stars and stuff that Alabama do. You know what I'm saying? But yet, we still so dynamic, still so explosive, bro. And like, you feel me? Like, it's it's nothing about it that in the SEC that we can't handle. Like, we, we run the SEC continuously every single year, every single year. You know what I'm saying? But for the future, bro, I just feel like, what, what what's things that we can do that make us elite? Like, I'm going to tell you what it really is. Like, y'all remember how Alabama, once upon a time, they had they two quarterbacks. Like, we got two quarterbacks now, like Anthony Richardson and... Emory Jones, like they can compete, and but they don't got to. You feel me? Like they don't have to compete. Let's do it. I let them did and play both of both of our quarterbacks in a way that, like we using like the same way we literally sat out Emory Jones and only used his talent, with his feet, his running ability. Let's do it to where we go RPO all the time with Emory Jones to where we you don't know if he gonna run the ball. But throw it, and he's he's so perfect at throwing the ball that you got no choice but to to play, man. You know what I'm saying? You got no choice but like you got no choice but to play zone. You know what I'm saying? Like like you got no choice but to sit him back, right? And I feel like Anthony Richardson is one of them quarterbacks. It's a mystery. So if we can put if we can implement him into situations where he comfortable, pick and plays where he comfortable to do the reads. So if he know his zone, he know where to go with the ball. If it's a man, he know if he hold the cookie too long, he finna get hit, right? And just throw the ball, run it, take off. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do nothing stupid. You know what I'm saying? Trying trying too hard. Like, and even times I felt like Emory Jones would try too hard sometimes. Like, he just want to stay on the field, right? So he'll try to go for that big play. So he coach be like, bro, he, we got to use him more. Like, but I feel like he, he didn't have to do that because he – I feel like Emory Jones is going to earn his respect. Like, because to be honest, to me, he already got respect from all the Gator fans across the country, bro, because of what he can do, bro. This man, every time he used to touch the cookie, good things would happen, bro. Good things would happen. It was just the early the early part in the season, he did a little something dumb, right? But that's it was his first game. Like, that's everybody mistake the first game, bro. Like, People gotta, people gotta like let that go sometimes. Like it's a first game shit. Some you can bounce back at the first game. Even if you lose the first game, you can bounce back. Like it's nothing to it, bro. Like but we 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 lose. Yeah, even Kadarius Tony to lose Kadarius Tony to watch his growth, bro. Bro, it was like it, this season was something that he was supposed to do all four years, bro. He never really got to because he had people in front of him. He kept getting hurt, bro. He was just, bro. It's nobody on. It's like nobody on the planet, like, like Kadarius Tony. You know what I'm saying? Like he was that. He was like our. He was like our Chris Rainey. You know what I'm saying? Like players that you won't see ever again. Like Keon Burner, DeAnthony Thomas, them type of college players that's so fast. That you can't find them nowhere in the country, and, and they just go to that that perfect school. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like he was he was Florida to us. Like everybody, if you know if you ever lived in Florida, ever been in Florida, like he was a, he represented Florida. But like that's why I used to love Kadarius Tony, bro. He was he to me he he was he represented what a Florida Gator was, bro. All the way around, all the way around, bro. And to see our team, like even to see my boy Trayvon Grimes go, bro. Like who? Who I felt like should have got more, more routes. You know what I'm saying? More of them big play routes and more targets, man. Like we ain't get no targets to my boy, man. We ain't get no type of targets to my boy Trayvon Grimes this year, right? I feel like he, he could have let this the season go and come back harder and be able to get his scouts, NFL scouts, to look at him this year. But I feel like. We, we we in good we in good direction we in good spirits with Emory Jones y'all and I felt like we gotta give him we just gotta give him a chance everybody gotta give him a chance and everybody gotta give him respect too cause 
if we don't respect our boy, bro, he, he ain't gonna be able to perform because he gonna feel like he gotta prove himself. And I feel like he already proved himself, bro. Like, just give him the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Florida, we ain't, we gonna be in the right direction, though. You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, if everything take time. Rome, Rome wasn't even built in one day. And I don't even care about none of that shit. But I feel like just give Florida Gators a chance this year, and we could we could be something special, bro. We could be something special. We got transfers flying in from different schools, Penn State, Auburn, LSU, Clemson. And that's big programs, bro. Them ain't no puny program. I think we even got an Oklahoma transfer or one of our players. I don't remember, bro, man. Bro, the future is looking bright. Y'all stick around, bro. Florida Gators, we on the move, bro. It's the HBK v Thug, man. Y'all give a like, comment, subscribe if y'all from Florida Gator fans, bro. And y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. What's y'all thoughts, bro? But it's the HBK v Thug, man. The one and only. The other just be faking the baloney, man. And I'm out, bro.